Hi, good morning. It's Miss Anna with the Home Visiting Program. And it is going to be a make your own puzzle from home day. So what you need is some scissors, an empty box of any kind of cereal that you have at the house. It doesn't matter which kind. Um, actually, it's probably better if it's a box of cereal that your kids are used to seeing. That way they know what it looks like um, because you are going to cut this box out and make it into a puzzle. So if you don't have a box yet and you don't have scissors, go ahead and press the pause button. And this way you can go get those materials and we can move on with making a puzzle. So go ahead and pause the video now if you don't have scissors and a cereal box okay so here's the thing depending upon the age of the child is how many pieces you want and actually because there is a front and a back you can have two puzzles so hopefully you have your box by now if you did not press pause if you did press pause, it's time to press play. Okay, so the first step is obviously we have to cut out the box. So we will. And it doesn't matter the size of the box. I happen to have a family size, which is kind of big and not really what I'm used to. Um, but it doesn't matter how big or how small because uh, again, it's all depending on the age of the child. Now, that being said, you can also do one for your older kids and make it be a lot more difficult um, by adding designs into the puzzle piece, uh, pieces that you cut out. Um, but for the younger kids, it's going to be a basic cut down the line um, like a cross. So um, that way, this box doesn't want to cut. <laughs> that way, um, it's easier for them to put it together. So here is one of the puzzles. I'm going to do it this way just because it's so long. And all you're going to do is cut it down the middle and down long ways into four pieces. And um, what this is gonna be for is a beginner puzzle um, child. So probably around a year and a half. So I just cut it down the middle. There's your two pieces. And then you're gonna cut it again. They don't, don't worry about them being straight. It doesn't have to be straight. Um, it can be a little crooked. Mine is not straight because I'm trying to do it quickly and on my lap. So I just dropped the scissors. Um, so here are my puzzle pieces. And all the kids need to do is then put it together. So obviously, you can see right here, the hands need to go together. And then, and that's what you can tell your kids, like, where does the hand match up? What else do you see? So on one of the puzzle pieces, I see a, well, actually on both, I see a beak. So having to decide which one this goes, this goes this way. Does it look like it goes here? No. So then needing to put it here. And then obviously the last puzzle piece will come together. So this is a puzzle piece, a puzzle made from a box from the cereal that was in the cupboard that is empty. So again, four pieces for beginners, probably about a year and a half, um, six pieces for a little bit older, and then by three, you could probably do about ten. Um, again, I would start it like this, just so that this way... Um, your kids will get familiar with the actual um, cereal box and how to put it together. 
and then through this you could actually cut the these pieces two more times so for these two in particular cut it here cut it there you know how four pieces this will be another four piece to make eight um, if if not you can even make it more and have it do three for the older kids um, the other thing you can do is again hold on oh I gotta get the box sorry um, there is another side of the box so what you could also do is you could also um, cut this one up and mix all the puzzle pieces together and then have the kids find their own pieces um, so obviously if you have different age groups uh, you could have this one have 12 to 15 um, pieces and then this one have four and so the the younger ones will be looking for the bigger pieces and the older ones will look for the smaller ones as you can see too the difference in colors so this one is more of like an activity page um, there is activities that there are on here um, what you can do is have the kids do them with their fingers so that they stay a lot longer or once they've built the puzzle you can have them do it and then undo you know um, in pencil you can do it in pencil and then erase it um, I'm not sure if a sharpie would work on here I don't know trial and error somebody try it and let me know um, and then uh, again there's a lot more colorful pieces so you could even cut like this or um, you have the box on the back so you could actually draw a puzzle if you're that creative um, I don't know you could be that creative uh, you could turn it this way and make it into a design um, so that it spells something out maybe the child's name or even have your older kids uh, make a puzzle on the back and then you cut it out for them and then they have to put it together um, because this is an, a family affair we don't just uh, service you know the smaller ones we want to service the whole family we know this time right now is is difficult with having everybody in the house use the older kids to help you out with these activities make make the activity them cutting out the puzzle for their younger siblings um, just make sure that you are uh, watching them with the scissors and that everybody is staying safe um, and again we will be back with more videos later today if you guys we do want to remind you uh, one wash your hands Please, please, please wash your hands. If you go outside, wash your hands when you come inside. Um, if you're playing with Play-Doh, well, Play-Doh was the, the activity that we did yesterday. As soon as you're done with Play-Doh, please, please wash your hands. Um, also, if there's any services that you need, um, like um, food services right now is a big thing, please remember to call 211 um, for our uh, information about our food bank. They are delivering at some of the high schools this week. Uh, today is going to be at East High at 11. Um, today is March 24th, Tuesday. Yesterday they were at West High. Today they will be at East High. So you could just go ahead and go to the Facebook page, the Cat K Facebook page, and you can see it there. Or like always, you can call 211 and ask where the food bank will be. Um, and then they can provide you any further information that you need on other services as well. Um, again, I'll see you a little bit later with the other girls where we will be getting up and moving. Um, and then story time will also be put at the end as well. This is Miss Anna. See you later, guys.